Hello, good evening. Welcome to another episode. Tonight we'll take a look at uh, Colibri for the Sega 32X. Now, for those who don't know what a 32X is, it was the last officially released add-on for the Sega Genesis. It featured um, two processors. Um, you would basically plug it into where the Genesis cartridge port was and it would take over and uh, it had its own uh, dedicated video processor which uh, gave you a frame buffer um, for very simple uh, graphics. It didn't, it didn't have any hardware acceleration for 3D or anything. Um, so it was more of a uh, 2D system since it could mix its own uh, video f with the Genesis and the Genesis can draw behind it or on top of it or whatever image the 32X would make so a lot of games would have uh, the Genesis draw the background and the 32X would draw the sprites and such um, Um, a lot of people blame it for the uh, demise of Sega in the United States, but it's uh, that was more for due to infighting between Sega of Japan and Sega of America, and this was poorly timed when its release. Um, if it would have been released back in '94 instead of '95, it would have done a lot better because the Saturn by the time this thing came out the Saturn was out in Japan so everybody's like well, screw that I'll just wait for the Saturn but, but it is a pretty capable system um, once you mix in the all the processors for the Genesis processor and the 32X but that also made it a very pain in the butt to program for and anyways so this game was developed by the same team behind Echo the Dolphin so it's a very experimental game where you take control of a hummingbird for blood, I guess. Same for this is one of the games that uh, has the Genesis draw the backgrounds. All the sprites and the and the the, the stuff in the, in the in the foreground is drawn by the 32x. You can see it how it has more color. The foreground has more color than the background. Can just start just like Echo the Dolphin is messing around. So those chairs don't want to let you get close to their flowers. Fine, I'll go find my own flower.
some cryptic shit like the neck of a dolphin.
you. I mean, I can see the exit right behind the frog, but... Should be something really stupid.
clouds if we go down the waterfall? Save you the trouble. That's not cryptid or anything.
Shit flying everywhere.
perfection.
possible indeed. Frog, it's the chameleon.
Hey Shmo, what's the password for the last level? We just We're up against. Of course, it has a nastic theme. No, the Aztecs considered the hummingbird uh, sacred. Uh, one of their deities was called Huitzilopochtli, which means left-handed hummingbird. Respawn rate.
There aren't any. impossible to <laughs> so that was colibri um I guess the, the very definition of uh, an experimental game. Uh, <laughs> I mean, try it if you want. The bird has a lot of momentum, so it's kind of hard to control, but... Eh. It's a thing. Anyways, next week... Uh, we'll take a look at a game by a South Korean developer on a on a platform that is not thought of when you think of shooters and that will be brought to you by the letter B so thanks for watching and see you next week